You see, because every history book that you read tells you that the Illuminati went out of existence immediately after its, its uh, being discovered by the government of Bavaria. And it was interesting, by the way. The way they discovered the Illuminati was totally secret. And in those days, you didn't have mail service like we have today. You know, we just stick the mail in the slot, and we know somebody's going to come along and pick it up, and, and in Timbuktu, they're going to get my letter, right? Well, this isn't the way it was back in the, in the 1700s. If, particularly if you had uh, really confidential correspondence, you hired a messenger. Or someone, some friend, some family member, someone you bought, bought, went out and delivered your package, your letter, correspondence, documents, whatever it was. And they had this Illuminist carrying these documents between key leaders in the Illuminati. Guess what? As he was approaching Ingolstadt University, lo and behold, a bolt of lightning came down and killed him on his, on his horse. It was an act of God. And when the authorities got there and opened up the papers he had on, and they said, wait, wait a minute, what is this? These people are talking about taking over governments and killing people and developing poisons to, and, and all of that sort of thing. What, what is this all about? So they found the, some of the members because of these papers and started to interrogate them. Zendry is on YouTube. And in each instance, I noticed uh, evidence was lost, destroyed, stolen. Uh, I noticed uh, that there were strong indications of corruption. So I asked myself, now what's going on here? And over the years, I started gathering material until uh, about two years ago. Up until about two years ago, I kept saying, there's a loose knit a network operating in this country involving drugs, pedophilia, pornography, prostitution, corruption, etc., etc. Two years ago, from my research, I'm convinced it's much more serious than that. It's more than a loose-knit network. It is a conspiracy. Because I guarantee you, right here and now, we do have a conspiracy. And I'm going to prove it to you here today. After one of my lectures, here's about two years ago, this is why I changed my mind from and using the word loose knit network to conspiracy. After one of my lectures, a gentleman came up and gave me a book. He said, Ted, here's what it's all about. Take this book and read it. And this is the book, folks. It's called Pawns in the Game. Anyway, it's called Pawns in the Game, and it's by William Guy Carr. William Guy Carr had the same problem I did. He wanted to know what's going on in America and in, around the world. He was a Canadian, however. And as a result of his research, he wrote this book. So we have the Illuminati. Now, the Illuminati uh, was established in 1776 by a fellow named Adam Weishaupt. In 1773, he was commissioned by one of the Rothschilds, uh, House of Rothschild, to put together an organization called the Illuminati. And he culminated his work in May the 1st, 1776. If you'll notice, that's a communist holiday. But some of his goals, uh, and the goals that he was commissioned to set up, there were 25 of them. And here they, they are right here. Here's the beginning of it right here. And then rather than read each one of them, I'm going to summarize it, okay? Because we've got a lot of work to get into. Number one issue was men are inclined to evil rather than good. Number two goal and issue was to preach liberalism. Number three, use the ideas of freedom to bring about class wars. That's what we're doing today. Number four, any and all means should be used to reach our goals uh, as they are justified, any and all means. Number five, their rights lie in force. That's we're talking about the Illuminati rights lie in force. Number six, the power of our resources must remain invisible until the very moment when it has gained the strength that no cunning or force can undermine it. And if you will notice, it's been a very uh, no, very few people know about the Illuminati, so they have maintained their invisibility until most recently. Number seven, advocated mob psychology to obtain control of the masses. Number eight, use alcohol, drugs, moral corruption, and all forms of vice to systematically corrupt the youth of the nation. How about South Central LA, CIA drug operations coming in there? 
drugs coming into this country, arms and munitions going out. And that hearing was about bringing drugs into South Central LA by the CIA. I sent them a list of 16 names of people who had personal direct knowledge of drugs being brought into this country by the CIA. Never heard another word. None of those people ever appeared as witnesses. Uh, number nine, seize property by any means. We're seeing that on a daily basis. Farmers, businessmen, people who are arrested for on nebulous charges. Their property is being taken away from them. Here's an example right here. This lady right here, she lost everything. Everything. They've come out and raided her house twice, Linda. Twice, Linda. This lady had a house that she bought before her marriage. It was in her name, and they seized it. She no longer has that house. And number 10, deal with the uh, use of slogans such as equity, liberty, fraternity into the mouths of the masses in psychological warfare. Boy, if that isn't Bill Clinton, I never saw it, never heard it before. Number 11, dealt with war. Number 11 theory and goal. In 1773, Adam Weishoff set down policies that were pu publicly announced in 1939, folks, 1773, publicly announced 1939 by Britain and the United States. And the war should be directed so that <clears throat> the nations on both sides are placed further in debt and peace conferences conducted so neither combatants obtain territorial rights, Yalta. Perfect example, Stalin, Roosevelt, Winston Churchill after World War II. Number 12, told those present that they must use their wealth to have candidates chosen to public office who would be obedient to their demands and would be used as pawns in the game by the men behind the scenes. The advisors will have been bred, reared, and trained from childhood to rule the affairs of the world. We have that today without any question, the men behind the scenes. Number 13, control the press. If you heard my lecture yesterday on Oklahoma City, I documented that the mainstream media is being controlled by the big power people, by the phony politicians, by the bureaucrats, without any question about it. Number 14, their agent tours will come forward after fomenting traumatic situations and appear to be the saviors of the masses when they are actually interested in just the opposite, the killing of the masses. Number 15, create industrial depression and financial panic, unemployment, hunger, shortage of food. Use this to control the masses or the mobs and use the mobs to wipe out all those who dare to stand in the way. Well, I'll tell you right now, every expert I've talked to is talking about food shortage. And we also know about the market crashing here in October. That number 16, ILFA infiltrate into the secret Freemasonry to be used for their purposes. That's been documented many times. Number 17, expound the value of systematic deception. Use high-sounding slogans and phrases and advocate lavish promises to the masses, even though they cannot be kept. George Bush was good at that, too, by the way. What's the difference between the Republicans and the Democrats high up? Nothing. Zero. If you look at the logo of the Republican Party, you know the elephant with the three stars across the top? Well, if you look at it today compared to two years ago, the stars have been inverted. Number 18, detail plans for resolution. Discuss the art of street fighting, which is necessary to bring the population to a speedy subjection. Number 19, use their agent tours as advisors behind the scenes after wars through secret diplomacy to gain control. Number 20, establish huge monopolies toward um, world government control. We're, we're seeing that today, the huge monopolies. Number 21, use high taxes and unfair competition to bring about economic ruin by controlling raw materials, organize agitation among the workers and subsidizing competitors. GATT, NAFTA. Number 22, build up armaments with police and soldiers sufficient to protect our interests. In uh, a few years ago, we had 11 federal agencies that were authorized to carry sidearms, firearms. Now we have 39. Number 23, members and leaders of the One World Government would be appointed by the director. Number 24, infiltrate into all classes and levels of 
society of government for the purpose of fooling, bemusing, and corrupting the youth members of society by teaching them theories and principles that we know to be false. Number 25, national and international laws should be used to destroy civilization. There's talk about the world population being decreased to 500 million. When the Illuminati was discovered, they developed a tactic that was, that was um, uh, given to them by Weishaupt, that when they get discovered, they are to dive down and then come up into the surface again under a new name with different leaders, but it's actually still the same organization. And they've done this time after time after time. Most people don't even know that the name of the Illuminati wasn't their original name. It was the perfectionable Hard to say. So they changed their name to Illuminati.